Hola, bienvenidos. Yo coso. Hello, welcome. Marhaba. Bonjour et bienvenue. Bye. Welcome to Georgia Southern. I'm Anne Price. I'm the Academic Advisor for International Studies and International Trade. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the major. Um, the good thing about this major is that it is interdisciplinary. That means you get to choose and basically customize your degree from a variety of different subjects depending on what your specific interests are. You will choose one of three topical emphases. They are societies, cultures, and traditions, security, conflict, and diplomacy, and development, aid, and sustainability. And depending on which courses that you want to take and which subjects you're interested in, you can choose from a variety of a set of courses that are tied to those topical emphases. Another important aspect of the international studies major is that it does require a minor in a foreign language. Here at Georgia Southern, we offer French, Spanish, German, Japanese, Chinese, and Arabic. And this will really help you expand your marketability to get a job in the future. My name is Brianna Williams. I'm an international studies major with a minor in Arabic and an emphasis in societies, cultures, and traditions. I'm sure Anne Price has spoken to you about what that emphasis talks about. Well, let me just give you a more synopsis of what we go through. We basically focus on people, their cultures, and their traditions, and how they move around the world and how they're globalizing the world. We like to look into their eyes and see how they represent their country and the foods that they have, and basically we're just learning about the diversity and the dynamics that they have within their country. We have a wonderful program that has a strong emphasis in interdisciplinarity. So we provide a core number of classes uh, for students and then they have even a wider assortment of classes that they can choose from in the different majors throughout campus. In geography, in history, in economics. And along with that, every student is, must also learn some elements of a language too, which is very important for you know international studies is to learn different languages, which also conveys you know a different perspective because people have never the worldview in which to see the world around them. The community garden is an allegory for what I want to do in my life. Um, I believe this represents growth, sustainability, and aid across all dimensions of the world. I believe it starts with you, it starts with me, it starts with building policies uh, towards building a more sustainable earth. I would really like to work with governments or either the UN Environmental Council or the EPA in building more sustainable uh, practices. I believe we can make the world a better place. I believe there's too much pollution, there's too much damage going on to the earth. And with my degree in international studies, I can research different policies, different aspects, different places in the world that can help make more greener initiatives, greener practices that will eventually help the world build a more sustainable place for all of us to interact in. The development, aid, and sustainability concentration in the Department of International of Political Science and International Studies um, it is one that sort of is a lot more holistic in its orientation to, to global issues more generally. Um, if you think about sort of the, the conflict, most of conflict is, is uh, over resources, increasingly more over resources. It's over territory, it's about access to strategic um, areas. Um, and as we move forward, as we realize in a globalized world we begin to move forward, all of those areas uh, bring us together in closer sort of um, cooperation or conflict. And so when we think about development uh, more broadly, the development would have to be sustainable if any of that stuff is going to have meaning going forward in the future. So aid is one way um, in which uh, states that are, are wealthier perhaps might be able to sort of target specifically uh, smaller countries policies to help them to get on board with a variety of any kind of, uh, any kind of initiatives, both good and bad for the, the smaller economies. I think that international studies uh, attract 
attracts students who are creative, um, uh, interested in anything international, um, you know, students who have a non-conventional notion of their future and, uh, you know, so there's this good synergy between the students and the faculty. Georgia Southern University has a lot of amazing opportunities for their students and one of them being the Mali United Nations team which by the way has won seven times in the past eight years and that's an amazing feat for Georgia Southern and Georgia Southern students and um, the, the major has a lot of amazing courses that you can take being international relations, global issues, terrorism and human rights and it's just really expanded my knowledge on the world and just how things work politically. Um, and through Georgia Southern, I've been able to go on a study abroad trip to Spain and just learn um, about their government more and about how they work and our relations with them. As well as actually just this past summer, I did an internship with the Department of Homeland Security. And that is something that, you know, five years ago, I never thought I would be able to do something that prestigious. And so thanks to Georgia Southern and this major, it's just absolutely grown me as a person, as an individual, as a student, and just as somebody who can be a part of the global sphere to make America and just the world a better place. Model UN is a, is a system where, or it's a program where students um, are assigned countries, they learn about that country, they learn the politics of that country, they learn about the government of that country, they learn about the foreign policies of that country, and then they represent that country, that, that country at Model United Nations simulations. And you come together in large conferences or in small conferences and you simulate what goes on in the world. And you come together and you negotiate, you talk with these other um, groups that are representing these other countries and you come to consensus about what you would like to see happen and you write what we call uh, resolutions. Those resolutions theoretically would be the kind that we write, or the kind that we see at the United Nations and they express the will of those countries that were involved and how they would like to see the world change. Sprachen und Kultur fremder Länder zu studieren ist wichtig, um den persönlichen Horizont zu erweitern und nicht nur rational zu wissen, es gibt eine große weite Welt. Ich denke, que apprendre les langues étrangères c'est important pour nous parce que ça nous donne une une manière de de comprendre les autres. C'est un processus de réflexion en comprenant les différences entre les gens. On comprend mieux nous-mêmes. International studies students are interested in working outside of the United States and with people from other cultures. And so even though English is the lingua franca of the world and everybody else is trying to learn English, uh, it really helps uh, when you're able to meet people in their language, in their culture, and show them that you're interested by, by learning their language. It, it means a lot to them. Uh, make sure that you have a study abroad in the language, it's a, there's a huge difference from doing a, uh, you know, a, a tourist type study abroad where you visit the country and you observe the culture from outside of the culture as there is to go to a country, live with a family, study the language, practice the language, and live the culture. I'd say the, the best opportunity that I had uh, as an international studies major was to spend my senior year studying abroad at Charles University in Prague. Uh, Georgia Southern University has partnerships with universities all over the world and I was able to finish up my curriculum in time to where I was able to do my language studies overseas for a year and um, that opportunity was was really awesome and, and really opened my eyes to, to the world in a much broader sense. I'd love for a uh, multi-million dollar travel fund where everybody could go abroad. I think it's the single most important thing that people living in the United States or elsewhere have to do. Yeah, you have to travel. You have to get to know the other. Whether it's in English, whether it's in another language, when you take folks and you take the classroom of a university, put it someplace else, you get to live the class. That's when you breathe it. That's when you inhale it.